So question 11 says, use synthetic division to determine whether X mass R is a factor of the given polynomial. So again, one thing to pick up on is if the divisor is in the form of X mass R, we use R. If we have X plus R, we use the opposite of R. So see notice how we have X mass five as our divisor. So our R is gonna be this five. So using synthetic division, instead of using this X mass five, we just put the five on the outside. Instead of putting all this 5x to the fourth minus 25x cubed minus 5x plus 35 on the inside, we just use the coefficients and the constant. But notice that the x squared term is missing, so we need to use a zero as a placeholder there. So the five is the coefficient of x to the fourth, the minus 25 x cubed, but since the x squared is missing, we need to use a zero as a placeholder. And then the negative five comes in, and then the 35 would be there. Now leave yourself a little bit of room because we're going to put some stuff underneath here. So this is going to be our addition bar. So to use synthetic division, the first move is to bring the five straight down. So the five comes down to start with. And then we multiply five times five, which gives me 25. And I put that answer underneath the negative 25. And then we add these two numbers together, negative 25 plus 25, well, that's a zero pair. Five times zero is zero. So we put a zero there. Zero plus zero is zero. And then five times zero again is zero. And negative five plus zero is negative five. Five times negative five is negative 25. And 35 plus negative 25 is a remainder of 10. So since our degree was four, this actually represents five X cubed, zero X squared, zero X minus five. That would be our quotient with the remainder of 10. But since there's remainder 10, that means X minus five did not go into it evenly. So X minus five is not a factor. Again, I can double check myself by using F of five. I can use the remainder theorem as well. And that'd be five times then five to the fourth power minus 25 times five to the third power minus five times five and then plus 35. So if we do that math, that would tell us the remainder as well. So five in parentheses, five to the um, fourth power minus 25 times then five to the third power minus five times five plus 35. And we're supposed to get a remainder of 10. So that does check out. So we did do our synthetic division correctly. All right.